Hello everyone, welcome to the Vibe Room. Today's episode we are talking about why do women hate on each other? Why do we not support why? each other? Why do we do this? Instead of supporting each other, we are always hating on each other. The first thing we do when we see a woman, whether it's a friend, your co-worker, your boss, and a, a new acquaintance, the first thing we do is we look, up, look at a person up and down and wonder, hmm, what does she look like? What is her body? What's her talent? What's her strength? Who is this new friend? What, what is she about? It's unfortunate, but I feel like we all do it. According to the Huffington Post, 73% of all women do this. And it might be even more. Um, I feel like me and myself, I probably did it too. You know, when I moved back from when I moved back from college, you know, I felt like when I came back to Atlanta, I moved back from college, I felt like I was automatically judged because of the way I looked, the way I dressed, where I live. Automatically. Me personally, I don't feel like I, you know, I don't necessarily like it. whether a girl is pretty or ugly or, you know, well, I'm not gonna call them ugly, but you know, maybe other people might be ugly or not, you know, not as attractive or whatever, stuff like that. You know, I don't, no, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I look at a person's character because <laughs> I just feel like. I just no no honestly honestly because no, I really, I really. because some of my most like some of my friends that maybe guys my uh, okay time out I have a lot of trust guys. me we know we right, know that I have situation. right I've had a lot of guy friends and my first time my guy friends be like hey you know bring bring your home girls come through come to the club you know VIP whatever you know but bring your home girls <laughs> and you you know you know which home girl to bring everybody know which home girl to bring that's just what it is or whatever so, so I feel like. You're all. <laughs> 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 what are you You don't know. I literally been on the phone, had my homie on speaker. He was like, "Yo, what y'all doing tonight?" Great, yeah, I'm so talking about my homegirl this time. He really was like, "What she look like?" Fuck, what she look like? He said, "You better have no ugly fat bitches over there." <laughs> Mind you, Ooh. one of my homegirls that was there was big, so she heard us. <gasps> so she like. Yeah, Nikki. Oh, so she no. was like, yeah, you know. She like, yeah, she was like, yeah, I'm I'm a fat bitch. Da, da, da. You know, she don't care. She gonna oh, yeah, she, she cool, just like yeah. starts saying like and he was like, Oh shit, she heard me. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, you a speaker. <laughs> like the fuck? I'm like, bro. Niggas do that though. Then niggas do that. You already like, know the bro I'm just like, uh, she had her ugly ass homegirls with me. You know, I you know yeah. you already know. Right, right. <laughs> But what I will always say, like, what I would say is, like, I do agree that women, unfortunately, do compete against each other, even amongst your friends. Someone you even think of your friend, like, it's unfortunate. It has happened to me where someone I thought was my friend really wasn't my friend. Like, you know, I didn't know, we, I didn't know it was in secret competition, but they was in secret competition to me. And, you know, you have to, you have to live and learn. You have to watch for those red flags, you know. Because sometimes you might really feel like that person really your friend, but they low-key hating on you. Especially if you have anything that, you know, might be a little bit more upper up than them or whatever and stuff. I feel like when women first see each other, like I said, like, a pun. I, I've had friends that be like, oh, who is this new friend or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'd be like, you know, she's so-and-so or whatever. I'm just introducing you out to be nice. And, you know, certain friends don't look at that person up, up and down. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's more of an insecurity. I feel like women compete against each other because of insecurity and envy yeah, or whatever else. Yeah, and jealousy. And jealousy, exactly, exactly. And it's very unfortunate, you know, it's very unfortunate, you know, that we do that mm -hmm. sometime or whatever and stuff. So it's like, you know, according to the Huffington Post, it kind of says like the reason why people do that is because a lot of times when they envy other women or always talking about another woman, especially behind their back and not to their face, mm -hmm. it's more something because they're not happy with themselves. Yeah. I think, it, I think it always starts within. Yeah. I think it starts early, too. Um, yeah. I, I feel like um, growing up, it starts there. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have a, a father or certain situations where if your mom didn't tell you you was pretty or beautiful or uplift you, then it carries on with you later on. Um, I feel like a lot of people I know that have daddy issues, including me, I had daddy issues. Um, my dad didn't tell me 
um, that I was pretty or beautiful. I remember going to my dad one day when I was a little kid and I had just got my hair done and I, I just wanted to hear him say something nice to me. And I was like, Dad, you like my hair? And he was like, don't be getting a big head about yourself. Don't, you know, he just shot me down like quick. So I just never, I was never used to hearing um, that I was pretty or nothing like that. And I just feel like it starts there. But at the same time, I don't, I'm not envious of my friends or girls around me. I love beautiful women. That's just pers personally me. I love women who um, uplift themselves and I like to be around that because it, you know, helps me to get to where I want to go. Mm -hmm. So personally, for me, I think it is a good thing to be around somebody who you find beautiful or has a nice shape or might not have what you have because at the end of the day, you should look at that person as uh, an influence for you. That's if if somebody's a millionaire, you should look at that person and say, oh, well, they're a millionaire. You know, you jealous because they got more money than you. Find out how they got that money. Find out how they got to where they're at so you can be that person too. Who you hang around and who you flock around is you know, uh, influence or a reflection on you. So I personally feel like it's a complete opposite for me. I learn from whoever I feel like it's like, ooh, I like her style or I like the way she dress or I like her hair or I like the way she think. That mm -hmm. influences me. But like you were saying the other way, you know, a lot of girls do not feel that way. So a lot of girls just automatically, oh, she, she thinks she better than me or she thinks she better than everybody so they automatically want to put that person down just even like the the biggest issue i think <clears throat> out here in atlanta is that bitches be on that whole like bad bodies designer and all of the chanel bags and all that like you know what i'm saying and it's like a big competition with that like bitches be on, but not realizing like like okay I can have on this koozie jacket, but I got on this I got this fur bag from fucking DB's discount. You get what I'm trying to say? And you would never know. You would think that it's designer just Everything. because I got on one thing that's designer, but no, like and people don't know how to put fashion together and people think just fashion is just oh having a whole bunch of designer. No. You go to the Goodwill and put a whole fucking outfit together because I do it all yeah. the time. And yeah. people be like, oh shit, what's that? Goodwill bitch, thank you. It's the way it's the way you tag, bitch. Style, 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 style. <laughs> Blue tag, green it's tag, yo tag. Right. Where you go. Exactly. Yeah. Style but that be the thing out here, bitches would be like, oh, like, I know, to be real, I've been around some bougie ass bitches that'll be on some like, oh, you don't got a Chanel bag? No, I got Chanel money though, bitch. I can afford a Chanel bag. I can actually afford to go get a Chanel bag, but bitch, no. Your priorities fucked up, but you got a Chanel bag, but you don't even got a car. Right. So it's just like, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, I'm bitches be up on that, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. on some like, oh, I only like to hang with bitches that got like, um, 100,000 followers. Like, oh, bitch, but do you got $100,000 in your bank account? Okay. Right, the right, fuck? Like, right, you know, like, that right. shit really, when I've been around bitches like that, you be thinking, like, damn, like, it be the prettiest bitches, like, that mm -hmm. you be thinking, like, oh, y'all be around, y'all meet, and you be like, oh, you so pretty, and then you think they have a cool personality, but then you start realizing, like, their mentality be fucked up, like, people don't realize your mind is everything, how you think is, like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing, like, I don't mind being around an ugly bitch if she's smart. And no offense to me saying yeah. ugly, but yes, okay, we are all not beautiful. I ain't the baddest bitch in the world neither, but I'm just saying, like, I don't mind being around a female that if I bring her around, niggas be like, oh, she ugly, yeah, why you bring her around? I done defended a lot of people around me. Just be like, fuck you, me, but I bet you could be around this person for more than 10 minutes, you gonna learn something from them. You gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna be like, damn, she cool as fuck. Like, it ain't gonna be like, you could be around the prettiest bitch, but she might act bougie and stuck up, and I don't like no yeah, stuck up bitch. Me. Like, fuck that. I'm hood as fuck, bitch. I'm righteous. I'll yeah. fart in front of you. <laughs> I'll fart in front of my nigga. I'll go fuck. So, y'all bougie bitches would hold y'all farts in this shit. Like, nah, that's the next level shit. <laughs> I don't fart. <laughs> So you I'm telling me that if you get comfortable with your nigga, you ain't never fought around none of your niggas. What? I just had an argument Man. with a nigga about this. One of my little <laughs> niggas really was mad because, and you know who the fuck he is, we sitting there smoking and my stomach was growling. He like, bitch, that's embarrassing. I said, what's embarrassing? It was my stomach growling. What the fuck you want me to do? I can't help that shit. You want me to go and knock on that motherfucker to tell her to stop? No, it's not going to stop. Like, the fuck? He's like, oh, you fart around your niggas, don't you? Yes, I do. Fart, go take a shit. Do it, be open. Hey, bro, pass me the lighter. I literally, I literally, I literally, I literally, I literally, I Oh, so, both of y'all probably decided to bring me back to the fart. No, I will. I said, I will. I said, I will. 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 I will
mother <laughs> tried to encourage me to like man, let loose, bitch. Right. Let it out. I married a man who lead lead hotel rooms. So I, <laughs> I, I, I had to poop so bad. Oh my god. You gotta go downstairs to the lobby and I'll call you back, man. Like I did that, yeah. No. Oh my god. No. Because my mama taught, she taught me that you're not supposed to do that around a man. My mama yes, didn't do it. She, she said she like do it around her husband, and she just told me I just shouldn't do that. So she was like, a man, it just I mean, certain yeah, things a man shouldn't see. Okay. And he was like, she was like, they're just getting too too comfortable. And we supposed to be comfortable. If you might not be comfortable with <laughs> anything. Because when I get older, talk. you can't wipe my ass when I'm old. Then bitch, don't be with me. <laughs> don't be with me. When I'm old, I get old. You know what I'm and you can't wipe I, my ass if I can't wipe my own ass. No, I'm me. saying I've dated men that don't have a problem with it. Okay. I just I just mentally can't make myself do it. Like I would, so you never, I would go down there. Right. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like Even it. a fart, like you just would like, like oops, sorry. You ain't I, never. I, I, <laughs> you ain't never. I just never done it. <laughs> just, I just never done it. I just never done it. Girl. Mm-mm. I when, when you find that dude that you do what the dude said. That's what the dude said. That's what the dude said. He was like, my last <laughs> he told me. I mean, me. dudes are pooping around me and stuff. But that's, he felt like Probably. dudes could do it, but he felt like females, yeah. like he felt like how you feel like females should never fart or go to the bathroom in front of a dude. Like, so if I'm living with you and we sharing one bathroom, what I'm supposed to hold my shit? <laughs> no, nigga, I'm a shit on you, if anything. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Oh, shit. No. The fuck? <laughs> oh, I don't feel like I'm bougie though. I no, like, no, I feel, I feel like, like I'm like, down to earth type person. That was some like you know conservative, yeah. like yeah. very lady like you know I'm lady like I ain't lady like I have niggas. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I don't oh my god, I am kidding. cannot with y'all. <laughs> but I feel like final message on you know in, uh, women you know hating on other women. Just stop, you know, uplift each other. Let's stop being crabs in a bear. I, I feel like black people, period, is like crabs oh in, a, in a bear. We bring each other down yes. so much. We, do, we will not support oh. each other. Like, we're the you only know? race that, like, really, like, we need to come together like the Mexicans. Shout out to my Mexican homies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's. A, I feel like we're the only race do. that do it to each other. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. We're, not, we're so far behind in time or something. Or maybe because from slavery or whatever, we ain't used to shit. But I'm like, support one another. Like, uplift one another. You see somebody beautiful, say they're beautiful. Even if they ain't, just say it, make their damn day here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know but that goes, okay. So then that goes on. Let's go into social media minute, right? Okay. okay. So that goes into. Women being catty with each other and hating on each other and feeling like, okay, just because she got on this top, I might think this top is cute, you know? And shit, I'm like, bitch, where you get that top from? Like, shit, I might find a top, might get the same top, might get a different color, but like, she ain't gonna be mad because I wore the same top. So, like, the whole situation with Ari and Alexis Scott is crazy to me because it's like, so y'all really started beef because y'all had the same nails and. <laughs> And because her and Jada had on the same outfit, like, I'm just trying to understand. Like, would y'all be, like, let me know. Would y'all be mad? Would you be mad? I, I, I would. If I went and got that top, would you be mad? I would not be mad, but let me tell you, it was a situation I had, and I found like this person really wasn't my friend, but um, I had a situation where it was a couple times it happened where I had an outfit, and I would come around my friend, and she would not say she liked the outfit. She wouldn't say nothing about it. But I'm telling you, when I tell you, probably that next week, she wear that same damn outfit, maybe a different color. But I'm like, damn, she ain't even say. And I actually complimented her and said, girl, you look good. And I never said nothing about mine. But went and got the same damn. So, you know, after it happened a couple of times, I'm like, okay, something up with this because she never complimented me. I'm always complimenting her. But she went and got the same damn outfit. It did make me feel some kind of way because I felt like she was not. I mean, I feel like she liked what I had on, but she didn't want to. She didn't want to compliment it to yeah, me. Yeah, she didn't want to. So it made me feel she was kind of insecure. I feel like you she, that you looked. Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. she was, and I just felt like. So then later on, when shit started happening, I saw she really wanted my friend. I'm like, bitch, I knew you want my damn friend. You started copying my damn outfits, but <laughs> <laughs> but my, my, my mom. I talked to my mama, and she was like, you you should be happy that a person looks at you and say. You know, I like not not saying that she said it, but copy me because that means that they look up to you or it's something about you that they like. Whether they tell you or not, you know. So 
I took it like that and like after, you know, if somebody do something similar to me, I'm like, well, you know, I'm just for influence. Exactly. Right. Like, never should be mm-hmm. feeling some type of way like, oh, that bitch copied me. Like, I cannot stand that when bitches like, oh, this bitch copied me. Like, I've never been that type of person. Like, people be like, oh, I was, I forgot where the fuck I was at the other day. And the girl was like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be tropical smoothie. And she like, right here, right here. Mm-hmm. She like, I don't mean to be all up in your face, but I was just staring like at your nails and stuff. Like, cause she did keep staring, but I ain't, I don't take offense when people stare. They might like something they see. They yeah. might not fucking like me. I don't go fuck though. So it's like, she like, all oh, I love your nails. But girl, I went to such and such, go to such and such, and asked for such and such. That's me. Such. Oh, I'm oh, like, damn. Damn. You know, so it's like, I can't stand when bitches be feeling like, oh, you copy, you copy. How many bitches got this hairstyle? Yes, I thought it was cute. So I was like, hmm, let me get two. The fuck? Right, I'm gonna fuck right, you so like I copied right, it. Suck my right. dick. I mean, yeah. and it look different on every damn body. <laughs> I will right. say that. Look, and that's what I'm saying. Like, mom, but everybody don't wear it the same. Everybody wear it different. And we repeat the stuff from back in the day that used to be right. hot. Stuff, I'm you know, come back. Exactly. You know, that person is started. And to be honest, we might have seen it on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Exactly. But like, you know, to so be copying somebody anyway. But way. even if she <laughs> did cop her nails and say, I saw her with and she copied her nails, I feel like, I feel like they should just talk that out like, or oh, just made a joke. Yeah, you might like, like my nails, so you don't want to got the same nails. And Eric and Tay need to mediate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But social media probably does. If them is your homegirl, they should not be in a club arguing across the club. That is a lot of screaming out of your vocals. You. Y'all y'all was all together, y'all was all cool, like I don't know. Get it together. Right, right. Y'all got kids. And oh, and that and one thing, that coming at people's parenting, whoever the fuck came at who first about parenting, that's that's out the question. Y'all don't do that. That is that's definitely fighting words. So all that first of all, y'all all the same circle, y'all probably all got each other numbers. So all that acting like y'all we outside. Yeah, y'all can be outside each other's house. Therefore quietly without no cameras and no media. So if y'all really not outside each other's house or pulling up and somebody like shut the fuck up and go go be a parent and don't judge anybody else's parents. Yeah, Period. You need the one on, you know. Like, you so. An example for the children right exactly, now. Exactly. <laughs> like. I mean, hypothetically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't hypothetically. <laughs> we speak. Right, right, right. For real. Okay. So that's all I'm saying. Don't judge nobody parenting, ladies. Because it don't come with a fucking manual, a guidebook. Ain't no right or wrong way to be a parent unless you're not loving your child. Period. So. Kids is out of the question. I think that we don't talk about right. each other's kids. Everybody's child is beautiful. They are innocent. Period. All right. So in other social media tea, we got to talk about Offset and little baby. Cause ooh, mm-hmm. Offset. That was not looking cute, boo. That was not looking cute. <laughs> I mean, like ooh, it was. I don't know. Somebody got to go. I mean, shit. If I got stripped down to my draws, goddamn, I don't know. Somebody got to go. So I just want to know what y'all, what y'all take on it. What, what y'all thought about the video? I mean, <laughs> I know when a good video we seen so far, but it's like, the, well, uh, go ahead, you go first. No, I was just gonna say that the alleged rumor is that he was playing some kind of dice game, lost the dice game, and supposed to owe about fifty thousand dollars. And I maybe they didn't think he was gonna pay it. I don't know what you think. They obviously they didn't get that money. Obviously they didn't get the check. Obviously they ain't get the check. Okay. <laughs> they stripped them. And you can see little baby breaking that shit up. But all I gotta say is if you money and you get stripped, y'all gotta fight. Oh you so you, oh so if you was carded, you feel like they ain't supposed to do a rematch. Or you would you just would've been like, nah, I ain't fucking with you, you got jumped. I mean he got jumped though. It went on one on one. First of all, security is fired. Oh yeah, security. Exactly. Y'all got to y'all go. Gotta go. Right. Y'all fired. Like y'all gotta go. literally, y'all gotta go. And yeah, first of all, he on fire. You clearly know it's so they trying to act like it ain't really happen. It's something because he on follow P. He on follow baby. It's like okay, why would you? First of all, as a business, like we would say, as business as petty because it's like you you supposed to still keep your composure even though you gotta be y'all still. A business, y'all are a label. Right, y'all. Stop all. acting like black folks. It's white folks that fall out with each other, but they not follow. They not unfollowing, doing all that petty shit on the gram. Like, I ain't even gonna know they beef at all. Well, we not we at not. all. That's the exactly, y'all are a family. At the end of the day, that's what right. y'all build. Y'all empire. Y'all need to 
don't start acting like bitches. Right, like, that's what it's turned into. And I'm gonna let it be known, like I said, if my nigga gets stripped, um, you gotta fight that nigga on the one or her. I'm good. Oh, so, <laughs> you ain't oh, a man. Oh, <laughs> man. man. So if he was Cardi, you'd be like, oh, nah, I ain't fucking with you. I'm like, bro, what's up? Like, you, mm. and, and y'all all know each other's numbers, so y'all don't have to do anything on social media. It don't have to be, you know, y'all need to, that one on need to be. In the, it could be in a silent backyard. Like I'm, I would call a baby myself. Like yo, come come over real quick. Like y'all need to squash this. Like we well, all now you know, like, but you know, like if you had just got stripped, like if you was offset and you just got stripped, I wouldn't. First of all, you won't be if, calling back like yo, that was wrong as fuck. Now nah, you are gonna be like, oh okay. But y'all are family, so you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, like y'all are a family. Like that's just like uh, that's okay. This is like us. This is where the podcast family. Yeah. So this is a business. So it's like if anything happens, I would confront you about it or confront you about it. like you know what I'm saying. Like it's I'm not ego. Gonna go, it's ego. Yeah, wrong, like yeah. I'm not gonna go and just be like no. They are making it seem like because um, baby, 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 baby trying to plant down. They made it seem like little baby wasn't approval of it. That he, yeah, that he didn't say for them to do that. It's just they did what they wanted to do. Well, me and his homie gotta get the one on. Somebody gotta fight. They should. <laughs> Somebody gotta fight. Somebody gotta fight. You strip right. me tonight. One on one. I was like, thank you. We gotta, we gotta do more than fighting, though. I feel like, like you can strip me down. What nigga on social media? No, it's, it's just, I feel like society. You don't fuck my face. And then that shit, like, okay, no baby's concert getting shot up. It's like, okay. Oh, okay. Was that all set people's? We not gonna say that was, but it did it have something to do? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, come on, like all that shooting. Like, y'all That's know ridiculous. each other. Y'all are too close to each other to be even taking it that far. Like, y'all niggas need to sit down and then, you know, all say you want following P. I I mean, hey, y'all have, you know, y'all grown, you have your reasons for I'm following him. Like, but, bro, like, that's your OG. That's your big homie. Like, come on. Like, grow up. Like, for real. Like, even, like... That Instagram I'm following shit and all that shit is just whack. Like, it is whack. For I real, like, shit. don't, come on, y'all family. Get it together. Because I know me. Fuck out. I know me. Even if I fall out with a motherfucker or whatever, I never unfollow them. Bitch, I want you to see this greatness. Got me content. Kick continue to watch the girl up, bitch. Yeah, I don't I'm never unfollow you, bitch. You gotta unfollow me. But, you don't but I can unfollow. <laughs> they gonna unfollow me. They don't even wanna look at me. They don't even wanna see you no more. They don't even wanna see you no and see, yeah. I, and I, will say, I will say, if, if, I do do follow, if I do unfollow people, it's because actually you're annoying to my, you know, to my timeline. If I do unfollow you, it's because, okay, you're boring. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, about, like, some shit. people, like, you know how they Can't you unfollow them without unfollowing them? I mean, like, can't you? No. Nope. Ain't that an option? I don't like, know. Like, not watch their stuff? Like, put them on... Time out or I don't know, like people be knowing how to do all that extra shit. Like I don't be know, like people know how to hide their story for people to do all of that. Yeah, like, oh, see, that's what they creeping. People do yeah, I don't know how much so like that close friends. I ain't never did one of them close friends things. I just post. You can you can post and just call them. Oh yeah. Oh, meet them. Look, oh, which really was like like I just I think you can. No, I think you right though. I think you can mute But but they still be your friend. You're your following. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I said, little baby, wish you the best. You know, y'all both great rappers. You know, hopefully, P got down, fix the shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, it's enough money in this industry for, everybody. for everybody. For real, yeah. for Cardi. So, so. And I'm pretty sure he can right. pay the fifty thousand dollars if he's right. about that. Oh, but see, I, now, now they're trying to strip. Now, if I was also, now they're trying to strip me for fuck me up like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, yeah. Like they said, what to do is he paid. And that shit went viral. Bro, right, you not getting like, no But he ain't getting no close up on him getting stripped. But if you got a close up. Somebody got the close up, and they, they want to check for that close up. Send sure. a, be a somebody send the close up. <laughs> you know how many memes they'll make off that? Yeah, somebody ain't got it. Damn. Somebody got it. They probably paid them not to post it. Look, when they said they're gonna sell on TMZ, they, they probably paid them to pay a little check. Pay a little check on TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on, we go to Pandora's box. You know, this is our one of our favorite times. This is when we pick out a question at the box, and it's an anonymous question. Whatever the question is, we answer it. So you know. Let's see what it is. Ding, ding. Mm. <laughs> All right. So this 
question is, how many kids is too many for a man to have? Like with Woo. Like, <laughs> Woo. I guess with dating, right? I guess. I, I mean, for me personally, because I don't have any kids, um, I would say one. I knew she was crazy. Preferably zero. <laughs> but I knew she was going to say one kid is too many. Though. Right. But really Period. more than one is all I can take. Like one is all I can take. I mean, like, you know, because big, I mean, that's just what I can do. Um, because I don't, now if I had two, three kids of myself. Then I would then I would understand I can relate to you like I got two two three kids you got two three kids then we can be a little baseball team I don't know but <laughs> we're gonna start a lineup you know what I'm saying but since I don't have any kids you know nah you can't I, have and no be honest, kids period I, right I've so. tried it I'm not even gonna lie I have definitely tried it I have definitely tried to be like okay you know what let me open my mind up let me go ahead I have tried to date a guy with kids before it never works I've tried it twice. And both times, the baby moms have never met me, never seen me. They don't see my Instagram or whatever. And they just hate me. Hate me. Like, so, for me, this ain't worth it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> what y'all think? I mean, there there comes drama. Yeah. Um, A lot of the times if you're dating a man um, who has kids, I would more so say the age limit is what's the issue. Because if a dude has a newborn, he's still fucking his baby mom. Oh, I feel like, oh, hell I mean, I, I, I would say up to oh, five my years old. Up to, you said up to five, five years old. No, yeah. no. At least I up say, to, I say at least up, I say at least up to four. Four years old. Four? I say five years old. Like three, four years old. Yeah, sometimes because a motherfucker might yeah. fuck a bitch. They'll and, still get back with I mean, the they're pregnant exactly. and don't even be fucking with her. He, like y'all gotta think about that, that too. Listen, listen, this is what I know. Listen, no, y'all no, and, and I do know that. Like and I do know that. And even, I do know that. Even when they're like girl, they gonna dip back. Nah, like they literally had the baby and just like it's like a duck. I'm a, like, this is what I've noticed on my own homegirls. So even on my own homegirls, <laughs> they might not even. They might feel like that baby ain't shit for whatever. You know what I'm saying? They might feel like he ain't shit. Whatever he done did. But for whatever reason, whenever it's time for daddy to come pick little man man up or whatever. Little man man. It's all time it turned into family day. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to be him pick up little man man and y'all go to the zoo yeah, or whatever the hell y'all But it. for whatever reason, because at the end of the day, that's why I said up to five years. At the end of the day, up yeah. until that woman, to five, it takes a while for that woman to really yeah. get old. Especially if it's her first baby. Yeah, but, first you gotta, baby, but you got to every woman want to be baby. baby. Really don't want to fuck that. They just might be really just but being might. a man and putting their pride to the side and just okay, let's get this whole have family day so the baby can see both of us. But they really won't fuck that bitch. Like literally, will not touch her. Yeah, I'm try good. not to for a while. But if she coming on to him or whatever and stuff, you know, so he like that sounds familiar. He already know what it is, you know. So <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <him."> <laughs> you're right, dude. You know? We don't cut that tie off, but and it takes a while. It takes a while. That first year, <laughs> my first year is definitely a no no. Oh, so that first year is definitely a no no. Oh, you have a baby on me in that first year, nigga. Hell, you got to go. I don't want to choke the, bitch, the so first that he still feel bad with him because it's <laughs> yeah, you don't do that. Women, they want to be with that baby daddy. Yeah. Everybody want to be with that baby daddy at least. No once. matter how he ain't shit, whatever. That's how they are. In the beginning, you especially that be first baby. baby. That's right. what I feel like. Cause you and my own friends, I'm like, bitch, why are you still fucking with this nigga? You know, and it, you know y'all only have a family day. Y'all, you know it's only family day. And you know, the big problem is, ain't shit on Sunday. The big problem <laughs> is how many baby moms he got to. Because Ooh. he might be done with first baby mom, but then the second baby mom might be the problem. One of them gonna be a problem. It's just like when they say, if you have one child, you may have one good child, then you have another child. That child might be bad as hell. You go, you risking it. <laughs> Talking to a dude who got multiple exactly. baby mama, somebody gonna act crazy on you. So that's true. You know, it's more so that. But I, I think I can talk to a dude who got two. I was about to say, but you would have said four. I'd be like, uh uh now. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Because my ex got five. Oh, yes. yes, and I and you know, we still but he, yeah, cool, older and more mature, but, yeah. Yeah, and you know, like he got five kids though, but you know, I don't we went for six years, but it's like hey, yeah. How many baby mamas? Three. Three. Wow. Yeah. But like, you know, two of them he really don't even like deal with like you know what I'm yeah. saying and the the one baby mama that you know 
He just, you know, they cool. Like, it ain't no, it ain't nothing, you know? Yeah, if you didn't find a baby that's like good co parenting, it's like it's only when that baby mama still want baby daddy that it just be some bullshit. Like. Yeah, like, and at first, you know, it do be like that because it was like, of course, but then it's just kind of like, like I said, when a man shows the woman, like, okay, like I'm done with you, like, you know, I'll be it takes a while for the woman to get yeah. it though because even after the dude showed the woman that he's done. It's so many spiteful ass baby mama. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. baby mamas definitely be spiteful. Like they definitely do. Yeah, but just to see them and that, and that's the other thing. That's the one thing I can't stand. Don't be no spiteful ass baby mother. Like oh, don't try to not let your baby daddy see his child because you mad at that nigga and you feel the type of way because he don't want to fuck with you. And don't get mad at the girl for liking the same dick that you like. You exactly. like the dick, so why should why she can't like that same dick? You know the dick good. Whatever you like about <laughs> him, she like too. So yeah. I just feel like you should not jump at the woman unless she do something to you yeah. know personal to you. That's true. Alright, well there you go. How many kids should you have? Okay, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What's the difference in giving a hall pass versus going into the relationship giving him three strikes? What? I'm confused by that. Say it one more time, sorry. I mean, like, <laughs> what's the difference in giving a hall pass versus going into the relationship, giving him three strikes? So, meaning like, okay, a hall pass, a hall pass is like, For that when, week, yeah, week. you get, you let your nigga like save, okay, Monday through Friday y'all together, and then you be like, okay, well, it's the weekend, you can, you can go and do whatever you want Saturday and Sunday, like, or just Saturday, whatever. But what's the difference of, doing that in between uh, a nigga cheating on you three different times. And you still take him back. And you still take him back, yeah. Like the, point, the third strike he's out. Oh, well, I would say giving a hall pass means you're letting that person go off and do whatever they want to do, whether it's sexual, whatever you wouldn't normally be okay with, you're telling that person they can go do that. Now, the strikes, means you're not okay with it they're doing it anyway and you're saying all right if you do this again three strikes you out so those are the differences to me is that you're telling that person yes you can go out and do that i'm not gonna be mad we still gonna be together and everything will be cool but the strikes mean you know i don't like you doing this you're doing it anyway and if you keep on you're gonna be out um a lot of times i feel like with the strikes you're just telling that person or allowing that person to keep doing what they, whatever it is that they're doing to you to hurt you or affect you. I feel like you're just on purposely allowing that person to do whatever they want to do. And they're going to keep doing it. And most likely it's going to be more than three times. It's going to be probably about 10 to 12, 15, 20 to 25, 30 to 35 times. And then you're going to be like... Yeah, I thought, you know, just allowing yeah. them to hurt you over and over and over so you again. Finally get it. You know, until you get fed up with it, I guess. But the hot pass is like saying, I'm fine with it. You can do it. And how do you feel like you are in your relationships? Like, do you give your guy a hot pass? Or is it like more like a three strikes you out? How do you feel like you are? I don't give a three strikes because it's like, it's kind of one of them things where it just depends on what it is, if I'm done or not. But hall pass, uh, I don't really see myself giving no hall pass either. Um, it just uh, not one, not a half of hall pass. <laughs> not what I mean. Not what I mean. Look, okay. Not what, what I mean. Not. So a threesome you would. I mean, it's it's more so of uh, like I'm not gonna give a hall pass for you to go mm -hmm. fuck nobody and think I'm gonna still be with you. Like I feel like I should be enough for you, but. If you're into, you know, trying something new, we can talk about that. But just going off trying to do your own thing with somebody, I feel like we shouldn't be in a relationship if you're going to do that. So, I mean, what about you? You, you haul passing or you I always haul pass. <laughs> yeah, I always haul pass. 
cough ass all day. Go ahead, okay. do you? You know what I'm saying? Like, which one is that? Like, but you don't like I look at it because this is my thing. The reason why I give out hard passes all day, I look at it like even in a relationship. Like I've been that girl. Like I, I'll be honest. Like I'm an insecure person. Like I know, look. Sorry, my heart. I got it. But um, I, I'm an insecure person in the sense of I know men going cheat. So I get mad like if a nigga try to play me, and I'm like, yo, what you doing where you at? Oh, da, da, da. Nah, like I'm gonna be on you because if one thing that men gotta understand is that we have intuition. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like we know when a nigga about to do something. Mm-hmm. So. I'm just in the sense like fuck it, you know what? You gonna continuously do this shit like and I, I'm not I don't wanna keep dealing with new niggas. Like every nigga's gonna like do something that you don't like. So I'm just like fuck it, go ahead, do you that's what you do. I might be mad about it, but it's just like, hey, you know, like until I find, you know, somebody that ain't gonna do then like till we get that Russell hey, Sierra you lucky ass bitch <laughs> nah, <laughs> like, she it's, it's hard to get him though. it's hard I feel like it's I hard to find men like that I like, had some good men so that's why I, did, I see I've never actually had a faithful man never what never never always caught a nigga doing something so I just be like do you feel like there's a reason why? Do you like feel like after all this? Like time? men, I I be thinking that men sometimes be thinking that I be cheating because it just I'm cool with niggas and stuff like that. So they oh. probably be thinking like, oh, she doing it, she doing it. And I just be like, cause I do get you know I get accused like even yeah. guys that I'm friends with, but I'm just like, hey, whatever. You could think what you want. If I know that I'm not doing that, I'm not going to continuously go back and forth with you about it. You want to be insecure about this nigga? Then cool, it's still gonna be my homie. Mm-hmm. Like. What about you? You giving hard pass or you three striking? Good three strike girl. I don't even know if I'm I'm not really more of a one strike. One strike. Really like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know you you, you might do two. You might do two. I did. I told you I did two when I was eighteen. When I was eighteen, I did the two strike pass, and I bowed to myself and to the guy, and I was like, nope, I'm not doing this because I was so mad at myself when I allowed that one strike to go, and the motherfucker did it again, like. And that's when I spanked. That's when I went to jail and all that type of shit. And I was like, you know what? See, I, Simone, you knew better. You fucking knew better. It goes against your morals and your principles. So that, because I feel like I'm not an insecure person. Like I don't mind my guy having like. If you already had female friends before me, before you ever met me, I'm cool with that or that stuff. But it's like because I know I have male friends. Like I've always had male friends. Like I've always had more male friends than girlfriends or whatever. So. But I'm niggas cool. be different. Right. And the reason why I say that is because if I know, like, okay, as a female, you can be cool with a nigga. Like, there's no issue and know that, okay, I'm never going to fuck this nigga. Right, right. But niggas being cool with the female, you never know. Like, a female going to see how, like, damn, he treat his girl good as fuck. And some bitches be wanting that. So they'll actually be fucking. Like, I've been, that's why I'm the way I am because I've been in that situation. Like, my ex, like, really, this girl, oh, this is my friend. This is my best friend. I know her mom in the room. And the whole time y'all was fucking. You know, and me being just that cool girl, like, okay, because I know I be cool with niggas. I'm just thinking, like, okay, they just, you know, they cool. Mm -hmm. But then it's just, like, when it comes out, you know, when I catch y'all, like, literally, like, it's just, like, damn. Like, you know, that's why it's hard to trust. It's hard to, that's why, and that's why I'm insecure person, because, like, I've been that person. Like, okay, y'all just cool. And then really find it, like, right now. So, yeah, and I get so mad at myself, I'm like, nah, I'd rather just do the one strike. Like, okay, nigga, you fucked up. Maybe I did something wrong in relationship that you don't like or whatever, you know, whether you want to talk to me and admit it or whatever. But, you know, in order to keep my composure or whatever, you know, because I don't want to be insecure. Like, I don't even like doing that shit. I don't want to be checking for my money. I don't like checking for no nigga. Like, that's who the fuck Simone is. Like, I just don't like doing that shit. So I got to constantly worry about what the fuck you doing, when you doing it, how you doing it. Having to fight bitches and just all type of shit. Because I'm the bitch that always be like, bitch, I got bad money. What you got? Like, you know, so I'm always ready. So it's like, I just, I'm trying not to go back to that mentality. So now that I've grown up, you know, I'm trying to move into a new level of my life. So if this ain't what you want, then nigga, I don't want you either. That's how I feel. So one strike, bitch. <laughs> and last, look. And last. Let me shake this <laughs> Why? Oh no! How do you feel about squirting? 
Sometimes when you squirt, it is probably a little mixture of some other stuff. <laughs> you know, so I like pee. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, but shit, it's just like a release of fresh air. <laughs> Not fresh air. It lets look. you know that, hey, you was doing your job. Okay. okay. Like, what you supposed to do. Jeez, look, it's a release. <laughs> And if you've been fucking up like the same hoe for goddamn six months to a year and she ain't did nothing yet, then, mm, then some, you ain't doing it. Some, ain't people, doing it. some people don't know how to squirt. But I, 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 I'm gonna say, I, I just learned how to do that probably, <laughs> what, like a year ago or so? Yeah. I learned, and, and what's weird is I always felt the sensation of what it feels like to do it. But I didn't know what that's what it was. And I thought I had pee, so I'd make a stop and then run to the bathroom. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then I ain't had to pee. And I was like, but God, man, I thought I had to pee. So, you know, <laughs> some people gotta learn their bodies, because I'm, I'm still learning myself. I can't do it on cue. Like, you gotta be really, really, really good. One, two, three, squirt. <laughs> you gotta build up. But I've learned how to make myself do it myself by myself. Oh, baby. Not on cue, but with, oh, with, the, with the bullet. It, it's like a. Do the. But I don't, <laughs> I don't put it in there, though. It just, the bullet. The little bullet. Yeah, little like a little rabbit. I'm, I'm going to show y'all. I'm, I'm going to send it to y'all because you're going to get home. But, um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. 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 the man. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, bitch, it's big. 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 But I put it in there. It's got two sides. And it's <laughs> anyway, I don't know how I make myself do it by, do, by using that. And like, Look. when next episode be show and tell, show and tell. <laughs> show and tell. I learned, so I feel like it's a good feeling. It really is. It's a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Look, everybody mm-hmm. can't make you do it. You got to really hit that, that G Stop. spot, you know, and, um, I think it's. I think everybody should experience it though. Yes, try it. I agree. I agree. Don't try that at home. My kids. No. Why you brought? Why she don't brought the kids? I'm just saying. I'm like, you don't never know who watching. Kids don't try that at home. Kids don't. Kids, y'all need to be watching this shit. Y'all need to get in touch. Hey, you don't understand. They the vibe room is not for thirty for thirty. They might. They might. They might take the vibe. They might take to the vibe room. <laughs> well, on that no way. <laughs> on that anyway. note, we have all decided that um, I guess squirting feels good. There are no thoughts that it does feel good. Um, everyone should try. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone. Right. Well, not little girls, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Adults. Now. Just one look, what are we gonna go to? Alright, so y'all know we cannot end the show without talking about this pandemic, y'all. Like, this is crazy. Like, I mean, I know we've had, like, some health scares, like SARS and some other stuff and different Ebola. little Ebola. Just, you know, different little things. But, yo, like, they shutting down spring break. They shutting down stores. I mean, kids are out of school. Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, ain't no toilet paper, no water. Yeah. But it's still vitamins. So and it's like, you know, and it's and it's still vitamins retarded. everywhere, you know. Um, <laughs> more and more Not cases going. are breaking out. Like what do y'all think? Y'all think we're gonna go into quarantine? Like there's rumors that we're going to you know. Yeah, I mean they've already started a curfew in Jersey. My mom is in Jersey, they started a ten PM curfew. And really? Yeah. Oh wow. wow. So they started a ten PM curfew, so I mean you just seen that Keisha just Keisha Bottoms just posted literally about a couple hours ago that we we can't <clears throat> um, we basically can't have um, be in any 
large crowds of 250 people. So that means, you As know, you know, they did cancel a lot of, a lot of stuff. This a lot of events, festivals. a lot of concerts, yeah. yeah. Like, everything is canceled. They closing yeah. the beaches down, saying that, you know, restaurants are supposed to be only to go food. And, you know, it's crazy because I feel like they really just trying to do population control. Like, that, I feel like that's where it's going. Like, I feel like... If they quarantine us for two weeks and we're in our house and we have to be in our house for two weeks, I feel like they're going to send people to our houses to give us a shot. And I feel like the shot is really going to be um, a chip. Y'all heard it first from Lucci. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard it first from Lucci. What do you think me. the chip is going to be used for? Just, I, just, I just feel like it's population control. That shit, that shit might be a deactivation chip. That shit might go with us and boom, they might just kill us when they want to. <laughs> You know, that, you know you don't never know what it could be that's just me my theory i overthink shit but it could just be it could be anything it might just be trying to you know like they giving first of all the flu shot like i don't play that flu shot shit i don't i don't i haven't gotten a flu shot since years like i could really say 10 plus years yeah like i don't play that shit like you know you gotta get when we go to college but after that mm -mm. like that shit ain't mm -mm. that shit give you that shit gives you the flu. And it's crazy because my people's at the doctor and they're on the phone and they're like, oh, I'm about to get the flu shot. And I'm like, what? I'm like, no, stop, don't get it. They're just trying to take your money, like, just give you the flu. And they asked the, the nurse in there, like, oh, is this going to give me the flu? And the nurse really was like, no. Like, really just said, like, you're lying, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you lying. Like, you're fucking lying. It does. It gives you the fucking virus to fucking fight it off. Like, the fuck. It's like yeah. a chicken pox shot. I give you the chicken pox to fight the virus off. But all this corona shit, they I just trying to... I feel like it's a conspiracy to get yeah. a dog and vaccinated. Like, and all type of yeah, shit. Like, just to, just to have, have sales yeah. on. First of all, at least it taught y'all motherfuckers to wash your hands, okay? Period. Because y'all motherfuckers be digging in y'all nose, touching door handles. I hope y'all I hope y'all wiping y'all door handles down more, okay? Not just car, the house. Everything. Yeah, you can't even find no hands. your booty on a goddamn so. thing. If you gotta open it, use your sleeve. Like, you're nasty motherfuckers. If you coming out the bathroom, take a piece of toilet tissue and open the door knob. Period. Cause y'all motherfuckers is nasty. For real. <laughs> I'm serious. Motherfuckers is disgusting. Like, even y'all workers serving food. Like, change your gloves. Changing the meat. Oh, I'm equal. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> For real. So I hate when people touch swan and you want to come and touch this turkey with them swan fingers. Change them fucking gloves. Like, I'll right, be, be worried about that too. Like, I'm no. thinking about my pots and stuff. I'll be like, bro, you do not think that bacon in my shit. Like, no, fuck, no, get your ass on. You can't do <laughs> it. Poor bacon and I'll be, I be thinking about, like, even with the restaurants that I go to, I'll be like, thinking about, like, you know, like, it might sound bougie, but I want to know, like, the cleanliness, the standards, and health. And stuff Waffle like. House would be so mad, because if I go to Waffle House, I'd be like, excuse me, can y'all clean the girl? Right. And exactly. they have to if you ask Next them. Yep. So they'd be so mad, and I'd be like, first of all, y'all cooked all that pork bacon, all that pork sausage on that fucking girl. You think I'm about to eat that shit clean, that vinegarized, put bleach on that motherfucker if you got to. <laughs> Period. Sanitize that shit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Definitely be safe though. Be safe, you know, just because um, it was reported that the first person has died, a 67, I think, year old man has died. So be safe. Keep your grandparents safe. And if it's the last roll of toilet tissue, give it to the old lady. Give it to the old man. Don't be stingy. People, people want to fight. People want to fight old people. But it was just like old people going in there and there's nothing left for them to get. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If y'all see old people, lead them to the vitamin aisle because that's where the fuck y'all all need to be. Yeah, yes. vitamins. Y'all see these vitamins right here? Yeah. So speak, okay, speaking this of is vitamins. what this is what y'all motherfuckers need to be doing. Explain what each right, one is. Right, 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 okay. right. Okay. Your right. vitamin C, your vitamin E, your vitamin D. Let me tell y'all. This right here, black seed oil. Okay, black seed oil. Y'all can look it up. You know, Dr. Sadie, before he, like, he even recommended, like, it, this is made for healthy immune system and inflammatory. Most, most diseases in our body is caused by, like, an unhealthy immune system or a weakened immune system. 
And it's basically like what we eat, what we eat, what we drink, our environment, or whatever that's causing like inflammation in our bodies. Mm -hmm. If you just start taking this once a day, like once a day, every day, whether you do the liquid form or I can't, I've heard that people have told me the liquid form is better. I don't like the taste of liquid form, so that's why it feels. Mm -hmm. It does good for me. I don't get colds. I don't get flu. So if y'all just start taking this, I think this bottle might have been. Twenty-seven ninety-nine, you know, with tax, so it might be thirty dollars or something like that. I got it from Whole Foods, or you can get on Amazon. Like I said, it's black seed oil. This can definitely like help protect you a lot. And boost your immune system. Boost. I mean, it has everything. This has everything. My second favorite is the wellness formula. Whenever I feel like I'm getting the symptoms of a cold or flu or whatever, like this is the first thing I take because the wellness formula has everything. And even now, like. When you feel an imbalance, you take three a day. But when you just want to just make sure during the one at a time, I only take one a day because you know one a day keeps the keeps the COVID away. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, because I mean okay. it has for real. It has everything: vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D3, um, calcium, zinc, selenium, garlic. Oh, garlic, guys. Yes, I love garlic too. Let me see where it's better. I have garlic. Okay, garlic. This already has garlic in it, but if you take garlic separately. If you look up garlic, like fermented garlic or whatever, like garlic is an antibiotic in itself. Like yeah. it can kill like a lot of stuff. Like y'all bitches won't need that. Make sure that is all that y'all do for you. Right, you start eating this shit. Yes, it's gonna kill it all. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need that. Get y'all pussy right. Oh yeah, bitch. Okay, now let me tell you something. You gonna get your pussy right? Hold up. Let me to goddamn tell you what you need to do now. <laughs> all right. So this right here, probiotics. Probiotics is for the gut. It's for the lining of your gut. It's for your digestion. Most diseases is caused from in the stomach and digestion or whatever. That's why a lot of people get a lot of people eat a lot of pork and beef. Those are people that get colon cancer. Like it's a proven fact. Research it. I'm telling you. But if you start lining your lining your gut with probiotics, which is like the healthy bacteria, it's basically like a good bacteria. This one has like 17 billion cells of different bacteria. Um, why it helps, so let's say like if a girl gets BV or yeast infection, that's caused by bad bacteria from the unhealthy nigga you fucking with. You know, like so if you go ahead you're a dick nigga. You're right, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I'm saying, but if you start prepping your body, you know what I'm saying, with a probiotic with good bacteria to help fight off the bad bacteria that's entering your body. Like every now and again you might have a yeast overgrowth or whatever, but if you have something like this to help protect you, this can protect you a lot. And you mix with that garlic, honey. That garlic gonna kill it all day. That garlic is crazy. Like it's the antibody. This right here. Now this one is chlorella. I normally take a pill called Chlorofresh, but it's out of stock right now. So, but chlorella is chlorophyll. It's chlorophyll is based from plants. That's why a lot of people that if you ever, if fellas, if you ever date a vegan or whatever, like a lot of niggas have told me that vegans got some of the best places. You know that it smells fresh. That it, you know, I I've never fucked a vegan myself, but I've just heard <laughs> several dudes that have definitely said that a vegan girl. And it's because chlorophyll, chlorophyll is inside of all plants. So if you start taking this chlor chlorophyll or chlorofresh, if you find it or whatever, it's an internal deodorant. It can help cleanse the body. Yes, your poop might turn out green when you first start. I'm telling you, like this is what you need. It's what you want to smell like roses. I'm telling you. You mix this three, chlorophyll. A probiotic and the goddamn garlic. The goddamn, like whenever you feel a little not right, goddamn put that garlic in there. I'm telling you, this right here, this is what you need right here. Cut it off. All right. So, oh, and then I just found this. Oh, charcoal pills. Now charcoal is more for like gas and digestive tract. Like when you're feeling like gassy or bloated or liquid, uh, liquor poisoning or something like that or whatever. This gonna get it right about you. Like whenever I'm feeling like I messed up and I ate some bad, activated charcoal is what I take. And I'm telling you, if y'all just start like, don't keep doing all these like medications and stuff like that. Like, yes, because it's money, right? Because see, like, this is what I always notice on my side of the family, whatever stuff. They're not they they're not from here. They're not taking medication. They don't even have access to all the type of medication. But guess what? My grandmother to be 103. You know what I'm saying? Like, and was still walking. Not walking with no cane or no shit like that. Still going, walking to the market every morning and stuff like that because of vitamins and growing from the earth. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, whatever, like she herbs. Exactly. Like she, all she ate was chicken and vegetables. She didn't eat and fish. She ate chicken and fish. She didn't eat pork or swine or whatever and stuff. Like, you know, so if you guys just start taking care of your body. And like I said, I tell you guys, research it. Black seed oil be your best friend in the wellness formula. Start researching it. You'll find out for yourself, you know. So it's not, it's not like an overnight thing. Like I said, you know, you got to give your body time to cleanse it out and put it in the nutrients. So. so Message of the day, guys. Um, I hope this coronavirus, I hope that we don't have to go into quarantine, but if we do, you know, I hope I have to see y'all in the purge, you know. I fuck with y'all, but you know, the purge happens. <laughs> Listen, I want to go to 38 Salon. Right, right. Like, you know, I can we get up without the right, goddamn. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't let this coronavirus freak y'all out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just start taking care of your body, you know, at least take some vitamin C. At least get to start. At least take at least one vitamin. Goddamn, at least. Echinacea, elderberry, yeah. are also good vitamins mm -hmm. to boost your immune system. Right, and if you take the wellness formula, it has all that in there. So you take this one pill right here. That's what that'll help save you know. So you know, signing off. Um, signing off in the vibe room. See y'all soon. <laughs> <laughs>